after coming back from injury. Brian Ellis going to lead things off for FGCU. Takes a first pitch fastball on the outside corner. Called strike him off the bags. He's a 5-12 OBP. Skies that one out to left field. And it didn't take him long to reach this time. A solo shot off the scoreboard to open the ball game. Brian Ellis gives FGCU the lead after just a minute of action. Well, you could add one more game to that list right there. And... 63 games now, and Ellis, we looked at the, the win before this game started, and I noticed there was a breeze going out to left field. This stadium, historically, when there's a little bit of breeze, the ball carries well to left, and for Ellis, he gets that ball up in the air, and that ball hits the back of the scoreboard. Just look at this once again. We talked about the pitches and where the pitches had to be for Garland. He's got to be down by the knees. This is belt high. Junior from Venezuela. First pitch swinging, softly hit ground ball. Morales barehands it, but can't make it cleanly and it'll be an infield single for the three hitter the 0-2 is actually lifted to right coming in and letting it bounce in front of him is Zach Levinson and throws to second not nearly in time that's a nice job by Patelli to backhand that ball and cut it off or else it might have gone all the way down that third baseline Ground ball up the middle. This could be two. Gonzalez to Patelli over to Kafis. Double play. And that's how you get yourself out of a jam. Jake Garland coaxes a 4-6-3. And then lost its next two, including a 23-3 game in the middle contest. First pitch swinging C.J. Kafis ropes a single to left field. Yeah, it's been the story of the year for Kafis right there. Sophomore out of Odessa, Florida, making a big road start here. And he's given up back-to-back -back singles to begin his outing. Morales shoots one through the hole on the right side, and the Hurricanes are in business, bottom one. I'll tell you what, that's just big league hitting right there. That wise decision. 1-0, hit him. The bags are full of orange jerseys with one out. Boy, that pitch almost hit Dominic Patelli, and it did actually. I thought Patelli might have just ducked out of the way, but it hit him in the helmet harmlessly, and he's got a hit-by-pitch RBI. That's what gets you in trouble as a pitcher. If you're not able to consistently throw strikes, you're just going to get yourself in trouble. Sartori over to Kinker. That will end the inning. Hurricanes score one run on two hits, no errors. You, you look at that first inning, and, and you talk about the two base hits that were hit. Two of them, you know, one a ball off the end of the bat, the other one a weak line drive to right field. The home run obviously left the ballpark. A fly ball gets up in the air. Rodriguez batting 257, three home runs. That ball gets over the outstretched glove of C.J. Kafish trying to go first to third is Harrison Povey. Throw comes in, it gets away, and FGCU is going to try to score a run. Here's the throw to Perez. It's in time. Well, the Hurricanes had to throw that ball all around the diamond, but it ends with an out. FGCU got a little bit too greedy. Base with a hit, four singles and a home run. Ground ball left side. Patelli gobbles it up, fires to Kafis. And Garland once again gets out of a jam. The second time, this could be a game where played. And, and for the majority of the conference, this weekend will determine where they end up. Yeah. Uh, it, it's There's so much at stake this weekend, which is great. I mean, the ACC has got to love what's happening with all these programs. Florida Gulf Coast has two guys with 17. Line drive up the middle. There's a sinking liner. That managed to stay up enough to keep that pace and get through. Alejandro Figuerito with his second single of the day. Sharp line drive goes off of Garland and into center field. Motoring around from second base to score is Brian Ellis. And the pattern of single strikeout continues. In an RBI knock for Alejandro Rodriguez. Puts the Eagles in front in the third. Yeah, big two-out base hit there. I see Eagle Ball Club goes up the middle off the glove of Garland. Ball's not hit particularly hard, but Garland's not able to get his glove on it. Fly ball. Shallow right field. Three Hurricane defenders converge on it. Zach Levinson makes the grab. 2-2 Two -two from Miller. Line drive, center field, chasing Ellis back to the track, to the wall. It's gone! A solo shot from Jacob Burke. It was a frozen rope to center field, and it levels the score at a pair. Yeah, I wasn't sure that ball was going to get out because it was a line drive. But somewhere halfway through, it started rising a little bit, but just an absolute missile to left center field. Jacob Burke, who had runners on and an opportunity to put the Canes ahead, his last at-bat. 
Showing off a little frustration here. Gets a pitch out over the plate. And he just absolutely crushes that ball. That ball got out of here quick. Right off the camera platform, Roof. It's Kent State. Wake Forest up 9-1 against Appalachian State. And Louisville up 4-1 against Eastern Kentucky. One out single from Zach Levinson underneath the glove of the shortstop, Bobby Head. And Miami's got a man on base. Yeah, Duke, because it, it doesn't help our <laughs> RPI. <laughs> uh, I think the ACC would step in and say, that's not a reason. I'm just teasing. <laughs> back out. 1-1. One, one. Rope back up the middle. Coming around third is Zach Levinson. He'll be sent by Gino Damare. The throw is cut off. It's a two-out RBI single for Ariel Garcia. Miami leads 3-2 in the bottom of the fifth. Yeah, great piece of hitting there by Ariel Garcia. You mentioned getting a spot start. He's been getting some starts here as of late, possibly in the lineup because of Max Romero not being in, possibly. But nice piece of hitting. It's a breaking pitch. Hits it right back up the middle. Tipton checks on Gonzalez, delivers. Bouncer right to the shortstop head, gets it over to Sartori just in case, excuse me, just in time to beat Garcia. Lead off for FGCU, and he's got a lead off single. That's the fourth time in six innings FGCU has its lead off man aboard in the sixth inning. To his credit, nine of them are singles, and also to his credit, he's coaxed a few double play balls, and there's another. 5-4-3, Morales, Gonzalez, Kafis, and the bases are empty. Inning. Deep drive, left field, Burke going back, it's gone! A solo home run from Alejandro Figuerito to lead off the eighth inning, and it's all tied at three. He banks it off the scoreboard, the second eagle to do so today. You know, Alex, we talked about the ball carrying out to left field today. The breeze is not what it was earlier in this ball game. Either way, Figueredo with a ball that leaves this ballpark to knock this game back up. Take a look at that slider, and that slider just hangs yeah, up there. left it up. He just left it up there and kept his hands back and just drives that ball to the ballpark. And now, all of a sudden, you got your premier setup guy on the mound. and Man on base has twice stranded the bases loaded. Got a chance to put his team ahead. Shows bunt, there might be a play at second here. Perez throws down to second, it goes off the glove of Patelli. He couldn't reel it in, it was a tick high. And the talented shortstop couldn't make the grab as at first. Not a lot of speed on the base pass, but it doesn't matter when the ball shot into the gap like that. FGCU is gonna take the lead. One man has scored, the other held at third, an RBI double from Harrison Povey. It's 4-3 Eagles at Mark Light Field. No doubt a shocker right now. I mean, this is, you bring Zeal into the game and just has struggled. That ball out over the plate and Povey. 3-0 to Rodriguez. He walked him on four pitches. Bases are loaded of blue jerseys. That's not the worst case, worst scenario there for Miami. Because as you mentioned, Alex, are playing back now, so they're set up for a double play. So a ground ball to the shortstop of the second baseman. It's hit hard. Balked. Gallo balked in a run. It's the second time in the last three games Miami has balked in a run, and it goes from 4-3 to 5-3, and he didn't even throw over to third. Line drive left field. Burke has it lined up. He comes in throwing to the plate, and it's cut off by, by Morales. FGCU has scored four runs in the eighth inning. It was 3-2 Miami going to the top of the eighth. It's 6-3 FGCU, and there's still a man in scoring position. A sack fly RBI for Bobby Head. Four. The life of a reliever, huh? Yep. Schlesinger comes in to face Brian Ellis and promptly walks him. He'll face four batters. All of them reached. All of them have scored. Dominic Patelli boots the ball. at short. The sure-handed sophomore makes an error on a would-be inning-ending ground at Mead. A big pitch from Arguez here, and they got it. Figueroa strikes out swinging to end the inning. Gutierrez, all who have seen plenty of action this year. Well, Miami's going to need another run 
in the ninth inning now. Another home run for FGCU. An absolute no-doubter off the bat of Joe Kinker, and the Hurricanes pitching staff has completely unraveled in the final two innings of this ballgame. It's 7-3 FGCU, and the Eagles are on the precipice of a top-10 road win over the Miami Hurricanes. Yeah, and Kinker, who now leads this ball club in home runs, that's 18 on the year. 17 and 18. And the 18 team had a worse record. So there's not it's not like a ton of it's not an overly difficult conversation to have. Comet. Ground ball through the hole left side. Miami will not score a run. Gino Damare cautiously playing it. Understandably so. That run from Burke is meaningless. So Burke goes from second to third. Gonzalez is on at first. Miami will bring the tying run into the on-deck circle. Miami needs one more man to keep its hopes alive, and it won't get it. Dominic Patelli strikes out swinging, and FGCU wins a game when trailing through six for the first time all year. Miami loses when ahead through seven for the first time all year. And after the Hurricanes beat the Eagles in each of the first two matchups, FGCU comes on the road and takes down the Canes 7-3.